Sheik, I have a question about my sister and I I really want your advice on this. Mm. My sister is a divorcee and she is above 40 years and mm. she has three sons. And all are above age, like one is 23, one is 22 and one was 13 when he passed away. Mm. Now she has a habit of mingling with men and uh, she, when we question her, she denies it. And uh, I support her financially because she doesn't have any support. Alhamdulillah, I'm able to support her. Mm. Um, and she doesn't have a house of her own. She lives in a house that is left by my father. Mm. Now, this is one man who keeps visiting her. And everybody in the family is blaming me that I support her financially. And so this man is able to come home and uh, they are having a lavish life. And uh, her elder son has fallen into vices of smoking and eating tobacco. So am I doing right by financially supporting her? Now for last one month, I have stopped supporting her and she has stopped talking to me saying that I do not care for her. In fact, I care for her and so I was supporting her for the last 20 years of her life. So mm. I don't know what to do. Uh, I have a question for you, Sayyidah. Mashallah, you said her children are grown up, working and earning on their own, correct? Yes. And why don't they support her instead of you? Uh, so they don't they don't work. And even if the elder son finds some job, he is very lazy. He's sleeping all the time. I don't know what he's doing. Mm. People have seen him smoking outside the house and uh, the mother mm. denies everything. And the mother keeps on, you know, like we have found her that she has been lying to us. Now, I am afraid of Allah and I think that Allah and Rasul have told us that we should keep relationships with our, uh, you know, like uh, kit and kin. So I'm afraid that if I break my relation by not supporting her, will I be questionable to Allah for doing a wrong thing? What about if you uh, make your support direct payment towards the rent? For instance, so this way you're taking uh, a big chunk of her shoulder, which is paying for the rent. You're not giving her cash money so that she wouldn't buy something haram or use it for haram. Because on one hand, she's your sister. And if she is financially uh, not capable to support herself, she doesn't have any source of income. Somebody has to do that. Meanwhile, we'll continue to advise her. But if I know that the money I'm paying is being used to disobey Allah and to challenge him, I'm not paying the money anymore. I would rather pay the money to people who are God-fearing, who are using the money to bring their children in a proper way and get closer to the Almighty Allah. So if you have a family member whom you trust, who can make the payment towards the rent or the utilities or the food directly, uh, and the medication, then you should do that. And in this case, you're not blameworthy. Rather, you'll be doing magnificent.